video. Today I'm just hanging out in my studio and I wanted to revisit this lovely guitar by Line 6 that um, probably doesn't get as much love as it should with all the features in it and just how well built of a guitar it is. It's uh, not a bolt-on neck, regular neck. It has a little battery in it so it can get all the sounds. If you've seen these guitars you may think they're gimmicky and to some extent uh, they are, but if you have a studio and you do any kind of session work and you don't always have every sound you possibly want or can play all the instruments, this thing's kind of a nice thing to have. Uh, I have it hooked up to my Helix. I just kind of want to show you guys what it does. If you haven't seen a video on this before, uh, this thing, you can hook it to your Helix with a like, kind of a network cable and you just hit a button and it changes to different electric guitar models, acoustic models, uh, resonator models, 12 string models. Some of them sound kind of realistic, some of them not so much. In a mix, like I'm producing a country artist right now, I did a little banjo thing for him in the background. In a mix, you can't tell. Uh, but if it's just a complete bluegrass type tune, yeah, you're gonna want real bluegrass instruments, you know, played and mic'd up. But for doing like pop country and just any kind of rock stuff and putting stuff in the mix that just sounds really cool or different, this is your guitar. Um, I'm just gonna go through some of the sounds this thing can do. So, right now I have it set on this acoustic setting. And I think it's supposed to be like a, uh, like a Taylor type guitar, acoustic guitar. But if you push one of the buttons, you can turn it into a 12 string, which is kind of cool. So if we wanted to, we could just drop D that. And we could loop something on the Helix. So this is kind of how integrated this thing is. So if I wanted to just loop a, like a, um, Let's just do this. And if I wanted to, I could switch this to like um, an open string sound and um, you can switch this to an open string sound and I can grab my slide um, and then I have, I'll just show you guys a couple patches I have with this like I can just hit a button and it goes to like a resonator sound. So, it's kind of cool. Les Paul with a plexi sound. sound. Uh, we have a like a strat type sound. <laughs> Bam. 
banjo, which I don't... But you can get some, some of that kind of thing. Um, then you have like a Fender like reverb type tune, type sound. these are kind of cool I just wanted to revisit this and the only reason I, I kind of was thinking about it is because I I recently did a, a tune like a little quarantine jam with a friend of mine and we did a song by Poison called Every Rose has its thorn which you guys <laughs> may have heard and I played bass and drums and um, and this good and this guitar and on the Les Paul sound and I'm not a drummer and this was done live, well, sort of live, um, and he didn't play to a click, so this is me trying to follow what he did on the acoustic and singing, <laughs> so don't judge. Um, anyway, you guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, appreciate you guys. Have a great rest of your day, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell, and we will see you at the next video. See ya. Hey guys, uh, tonight I'm gonna do something just a little bit different. Um, I've invited my buddy Rich Bischoff to join me um, and play one of my favorite 80s rock ballads that is uh, known for its lead guitar solos and uh, man that's where he shines and it's uh, Poison's Every Rose Has Its Thorn. So thanks Rich for, Rich for joining me and here we go. Thanks for having me Joby. Was it something I said, something I did? Did my words not come out right? Though I tried not to hurt you, though I tried, but I guess that's why they say every rose has its thorn, just like every night has its dawn.
We both live separate ways.